are heading out. I've got the great big gargantua trailer behind me. I'm in the silver truck. We're gonna run out here and help a friend out. He blew the motor up in his truck. So Mike and Sean are in Mike's truck behind me. They're gonna come out. We're gonna we're gonna winch his truck up onto the trailer, and then Mike will pull his camper and we'll get him off of the off the side of the highway. Here we go, we're off, we're running. Look, we're in the old Dodge. What? Which no is Mike's way. Dodge now. Yeah. How do you like your new Dodge? It's been okay. We had a rough beginning, but it's getting better. Rough, rough. It's but, like rough riders. Yeah, yeah. I had to put a transmission in it and an exhaust manifold, a couple other little details, but overall, she's a great truck. Check it out. We've got a giant camper back there. We're, we're towing it back to Moab, and uh, that's that's the big excitement of the day so far. The truck's doing excellent. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Put a big old hole in it. Look, we made it. This is the Tyra. That went bad on me last night on a recovery when I went to go get uh, Mike and Rory right there. So this tire is no good. It's got a big old hole in it. But we had two more in this tire conics. This one will go on the spare wheel. Put the spare wheel back up in there. Rory purchased the new trailer. Buggy and Jeep can fit on here. Or two, two buggies. Look, we got lumber from the lumber yard. And now we got supplies. Supplies! To make some drive over fenders. We got our cool woodworking skills. We got that one bolted down and that one's done. That works in my book. That is perfect. On the trailer. I didn't realize uh, Wiley had a longer wheelbase than the buggy. Oh yeah. Anyway, we got done with the trailer. Now, we're working on Wiley. We fixed the seatbelt. Now, we're still in the windshield off of this Jeep. I got one. One. One Torx bit. Okay. Free. Look at Sean. So big and strong. <laughs> All right. We got a bunch of things transferred over, like the wiper motor. All right. Check it out. We got the yellow Jeep in the shop. 
we are gonna try and fix some things. These rear shocks it, it are bumps the, good, but it bumps quicker than I think we want it to. Yeah, it seems like it's bottoming out a lot. Yeah, but the, the hardest part with these TJs is getting a shock to fit in all the places because there's so much going on. There's the exhaust, there's the track bar, there's the coil, there's the coil bucket. 16 things all in the way. Yeah, and if you get it in the wrong spot, it hits everything or it limits this or it limits that. So we're just trying to fine tune it, tweak it. Okay, so we removed two hockey pucks and the spring. We're gonna set it all the way down to full bump. You want your bump stop to hit before your shock hits, otherwise bad things can happen. Um, I can't see anything. Okay, that, I think that's all the way down, and I think the shock is touching first. Because the bump's not touching on this side. I got about a half inch to go. Yeah, that's what I got. One out. Yeah. Gloves, it's kangaroo pouch. No, 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 no. Here, watch. No, no gloves. No gloves. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> He's a man. Mike's welding some stuff under there. So they cut it and then set the Jeep on it, and it bent the lower tab down to downtown. So now, at bump to bump, it's not bumping out too early, right? Yeah, I think it'll it'll do what we're hoping. Yeah. Looking at it, Mike. Dude, that's gonna lower our uh, quarter mile times by a third. By a third. <laughs> by many, many thirds. Let's check it out. Buy once, cry once. This is the this is the purchase I should have done when we put the supercharger on the big block. If it starts working great, we will order another one for our other big block. Yeah. Look what happened here. You guys weren't even watching and we got the shocks and the springs back on. Yeah, but it's already ready. Already ready already. Is she bottoming? Nope. Oh, it must be perfect. Perfect. Well, test drive complete. Can't even test drive it. That's not true. <laughs> he drove it from, from right over there. <laughs> Yeah, test drive looked like a good one. You really hit them whoops. But it bring blue in. See, I got new toys for blue. Okie dokie, here we go. Alright, we are gonna put in a new starter. Come Push on, live a little. Push button. Push button. What button? Oh, yeah. Look how much boost it made. Yeah, Rory's over here investigating our I didn't I'm not investigating. It's just right in front of my face and I'm not allowed to look anywhere else. <laughs> even though I'm trying to. We've gotta space the starter motor away. Which it has shim I have shims for that. Okay. This guy here spaces the block 
and this guy here spaces the bearing to match that. Go ahead and try it for a second. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, Did you hook the ground back up? No. Okay. I am ready. Okay. On you. Yep, now can come down. Okay. Well, this is what he's putting in there. It's just a little spacer to shim the starter down away from the flywheel so that it's Mikey, the yeah, gear mesh. On, the passenger side. Ready. on you! Okay, go again. Yeah, go ahead, Mike, whenever you're ready. Once again, for the cheap seats, here's the air cleaner that goes inside my scoop. See, it's keeping it all clean, everything going in there is clean. The filter is dirty, so I bought a K&N one that we've been running so now I can wash it, put it back in, wash it, put it back in, see how that works. We are once again resealing the diffs so that they'll quit leaking. Got fire extinguishers on the bedsides here. Got one fire extinguisher on each bedside. And one fire extinguisher in here right behind the shifter. Ready for race day, right Mike? Yes sir. We are in Grand Junction. I had to come up, go to Lily's back to school thing. And so I brought the truck because tonight is Friday night drags up at Western Colorado Dragway. We are taking the truck to an official track we are gonna race it and see what she can do. So we just passed tech inspection, no problem. My racing number's been double zero since my motocross days, my mud truck days. Um, the buggy's got double zero on it. Now, now the blue truck has gone to double zero because that's my numbers always. <laughs> Well, my reaction time was a little slow. Um, I think I could dial it in a little bit better. I think I could bring that down to a 17 by the end of the night. Oh, I bet you can. Cletus, with his rollback, was pulling 16.7 and coasting most of the way because he kept blowing driveline. So, as long as I can get in the 16s, I feel really good about it. Oh. So I used to announce up here, I know some bad cars when I see one. 
This is Danny Reed with a stick shift Camaro. This thing runs really good. Nothing, nothing. I got no reaction time, no nothing, no anything. That's weird. Yeah. It's just something. It's all good. I took it. I took it higher in the into the shift fight. Did you? And I wasn't sure if that was gonna help, but it probably will. Yeah. But I think the blower's getting warm. Right. Oh, I'm certain that. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> well, the cool thing is, is uh, the electric water pump. So it's not just cooling the radiator. Like I turn the key on and turn the fans on, and it's circulating, cooling the whole block down. Oh, it is beautiful here, Western Colorado Dragway. One of my very favorite places when I was a little kid, and still one of my favorite places today. Right here, West Colorado Dragway. Rory's gonna go get his truck. He's gonna do uh, pass number three. So, I mean, like I said, we cut our reaction time down. So we were a 0.7 on the very first tree I've ever done. That was my third tree and I'm at a 0.39. So I still got a lot to improve there. But that reaction time's coming down over all the trucks consistent. So Cletus, you better watch out, buddy. This is called race car now. Now it's a race car. <laughs> Everything back here is heavy. What's up? Oh yeah. <laughs> you and Roy got a little grudge going on. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, man? Yeah, good. Pass number four. Not running too bad. It fell off just a little bit. I didn't hear it misfiring as bad, but I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> I, I found a pen, so I'm jotting down which one was first, second, third. My first pass is still my fastest. Yeah. Probably because it was the coolest. Yeah. But that one, we're back to, we're 74.75 miles per hour. So we're almost to 75. My I reaction can, time can. sucked again. <laughs> I was back down to 61. But uh, 17.67. 17.67, not bad. Yeah. So like you said, man, 
If this truck was a bracket racing for 17 and a half, <laughs> yeah. it'd be dialed. Maybe we should bring it up here on a on a Saturday and make right. some money. Yeah. 17.5 <laughs> all night. <laughs> So, 148 miles an hour. I'm not far off from that. I'm pretty close. 